Hello everyone, and welcome back to Public Enema Plays and this Maguri Mod playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, this is just the second episode. I'm going through checking my equipment real quick before we go much further. And if you missed us last time, we escaped with the princess and crash landed in the evil forest. Phew, I'm so glad that my symbol survived the crash. So how are we going to get out of this predicament? This has got to be the worst situation we've ever been in. And we got a snoozing conductor. Yo, get off me! Found a phoenix down. Let's go check in on the boss. Garnet's missing. Blink's already searching inside. You search for her outside. Okay. Fair enough. I was thinking there might be something else hiding over here. Maybe not. Alright, so like our first real dungeon area here. The evil forest. A little bit more of the Maguri Mod reworked battle theme. our first level up. Actually, this is a good spot to just kind of run around and maybe get into a couple of random battles and get a little higher than just level two. Getting those first few levels awfully quick. Since Zidane can one-hit pretty much everything here, usually just one turn. No level two. We'll do one more and then we'll move on. I do like the theme here. There we go. Another goblin. So we'll take take it from here, level three. Go ahead and advance. She, she's in trouble. What the hell is that? She's in trouble. Release the princess at once. Yeah, like it's really gonna listen to you. Come on. Trance. So in this battle we get our tutorial to this game's limit break mechanic. What is that light? I don't know. Somehow it raises my power. Could it really be trance? I've heard of it before. Trance is induced by a surge of emotion. Alright, let's take him. So trance can be super useful. Like, it'll change command for basically... Um, each character has, like, a different thing that they can do. And Zidane gets the Dine ability, which turns, like, his regular, like, thief abilities into, like, mega moves. And then, like, each time you use the trance, it decreases a little bit until that bar underneath the ATB disappears, and then you go back to normal. The thing that kind of sucks about it is you can't really control when it hits. And, you know, it's not like in Final Fantasy VII where you can hold on to your limit breaks and, you know, unleash on a boss. It's just like, when the trance bar's full, it's full, and you go into trance. Makes some bosses super easy if it hits right, and it can be infuriating to get hit with, like, a suicide move or something and then launch into trance against, like, a, a regular baddie. Princess? Princess! What the heck? Where did they go? 
she's gone. I was too scared to cast any spells. That monster's probably going to eat her. How could I let this happen? Don't worry, she's not dead yet. That monster was only a minion. He's probably going to take her to his master. That means the princess might still be... Come, we must go find her at once. Whoa! Alright, prison cage round two. Let me go! Help me! Vivi's HP if he dies, it's game over. Huh, leather wrist. Nice. And a broadsword. Crit from Steiner, not bad. Alright, might need to heal Zidane here. on Vivi too. Yeah. Just in case. Alright, so we've officially cleared out the prison cage. basically took care of that on his own. Phew. Thanks. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I think. Ugh. Princess Steiner, so melodramatic. You guys are lucky. If it weren't for Zidane, you'd both be dead. Some of the monsters in this forest reproduce by planting seeds in other animals. And when the seeds sprout, it's hasta la vista. You become beef jerky. Can't help but feel like maybe that's a translation thing that should have been, like, dead meat and not beef jerky. Um, am I gonna die? No, you're gonna be fine. Here, drink this. It'll remove all the seeds from your body. Yuck. Princess, I'm coming right now. Stand aside. Room behind you. Go. The princess is in grave danger. Do you intend to abandon her? You're in no condition. Don't worry about the princess. The boss will think of something. Hey, stop. Get some rest. Yeah, and take that medicine I gave you. Damn it. I can't just stand here. The princess's life rests in my hands. What can their boss possibly accomplish? This medicine. It smells terrible. And the color. This is obviously poison. Huff, huff, heave, heave. Ugh. I can't take it anymore. God help me. Hey, not bad. Forget it. Monsters born out of the mist are crawling everywhere. So what? There's nothing out there we can't handle. 
Yeah, but what are we going to do about the wounded? We can take them with us. How are we going to carry all of them? Trust me, we go out now and we all get wasted. My boys come before the princess, you know. It's too bad. We're going to stay put till everyone recovers. You better not set one foot outside the ship. You got that? I can't believe you're abandoning her. You're nothing but a big coward. I got nothing else to say. If you don't agree with me, you're free to leave the band anytime. Mm -hmm. The structure is in poor condition. Perhaps I can break out by ramming into the wall. Fire! Fire! Let me out! Ugh. Huff. Huff. I'm still not feeling well. What's this? What an ugly doll. Princess Garnet, age 15. How dare they write the princess's name on such a ragged doll. Besides, the princess is not 15. She's 16. Princess. Where'd everybody go? And what am I supposed to do now? Left Ruby behind in Alexandria. should be here somewhere. Huh. Damn. Where is it? What happened to my garnet doll? Man, how am I supposed to sleep now? Jeez. Poor little doll. The fire probably caught it. Cinna, that's really weird. Plants attack people. I guess they don't call it the evil force for nothing. Oh yeah, we stole a leather wrist. I'm gonna hold off though, so I can learn flea gill. Sorry, skipped that line. I gave something along the lines of I gave that black mage some medicine. Why don't you go see him? I think he wants to thank you. Yeah, I gave that black mage some medicine. He'll be all right. Why don't you see him? I think he wants to thank you. Take that ether. Thank you very much. A little extra spending money. I think that's it. Oh. Th thank you for helping me. Ah, don't mention it. Besides, it was your black magic that saved the day. You know, you've got some major power for such a little guy. What's wrong? Are you peeved at me because I called you little? Hey, you're a great mage with great powers, alright? To hell with looks. It's what inside that counts. I'm sorry. When that monster caught her, I couldn't do anything. Hey, don't worry about the princess. I'll get her back. I promise. Thank you, Mr. Zidane. Whoa, that's the first time anyone's called me Mr. Just call me Zidane, alright? Okay, Zidane. Alright, maybe he's gonna sit there and think for a minute. Jeez, he was pretty down. Maybe I shouldn't have made that promise. I don't even know if I'll be able to find her. Man. I never felt so strange. Maybe fate brought us together. 
I can't explain it. Man, I can't stop thinking about her. Well, I'm gonna go look for her, obviously. Yeah, what's there to think about? She's cute, and she's in trouble. That's all that matters. There you are. Why do you look so serious? Uh-oh. What are you up to this time? I'm gonna take that knight and the black mage to find the princess. You're crazy. Man, you don't even know what's out there. Besides, there's no way the boss will allow that. I know. Jeez. Why do you always gotta go play hero? The boss is gonna kill you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to the boss. He's still up here. Nope. He locked that old knight up in the instrument storage room. He fusses a little from time to time, but he hasn't been all that bad. Another ether. Steiner. Did you hear that? Something's crying. Am I going to die here? Ah, 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 choo! Took you long enough. I fell asleep, darn it. So, you're leaving, eh? Yeah. I promised Garnet that I'd kid kidnap her. I didn't ask you why. I can't blame you, though. She's damn beautiful. I guess that's reason enough. Well, I hope you're ready. Because I'm going to bust you up for breaking the rules. All right. Okay, get your butt over to the cargo room. We got more room there. Let's do this, Baku. You ready? Anytime. I ain't holding back. Rah. Let's steal from the boss. clumsy. Alright, he's cleared out. Let's let's take care of him. Better than that. I think that trip's gonna give me the opening I need. Yeah, that'll take care of it. Alright, you win. I'll be damned. Bravo. Go find your princess. Ha ha ha. Damn, that hurt. He pulled his punches to that last one. I can't believe you're leaving. You're crazy. I'm surprised you beat him. You're a lot tougher than you look. Way to go, Zidane. I unlocked the door to the storage, so you're free to go talk to that knight.
Come on, you're too old to be playing with a doll. Silence! A scoundrel like you could never understand. I'm just overwhelmed with concern for the princess. If only you rogues hadn't kidnapped her. This is all your fault. If anything should happen to the princess, I'll have your head. Take it easy. Jeez. I'm gonna go look for her now. I'll let you come with me if you promise to be good. What do you say, Rusty? R R Rusty! I am Adelbert Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto, and I'll never work with you conniving thieves. Captain, I figured you were a private with that cheap, rusty armor. Look, this has nothing to do with Tantalus. It's something I decided to do on my own. I just want to save Garnet. Hm. You'd better not be lying. Because if you are, I won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, yeah. I'm counting on you, Rusty. Make no mistake, I'm only going with you to rescue the princess. I will deal with you personally when this is over. Whatever. It be difficult with just the two of us. We should seek Master Vivi's help as well. Why are you calling him Master? You fool. That black mage has unimaginable powers. I don't want to get him involved, but alas, it can't be helped. We need Master Vivi's powers to rescue the princess. Alright, let's go talk to Vivi. back and get this treasure chest. Always feel like I should be able to get something out of that safe. Alright, let's check Steiner's equipment here. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave everything as is. Let him learn some abilities first. Let's go recruit Master Vivi. Getting out of this forest is going to be tough, but getting back above the mist is going to be even tougher. It's a long way to Lindblom. I heard you beat the boss. You sure are something. I don't know why the boss was laughing afterwards. Maybe you hit him too hard. Well, Vivi, we're ready to go look for the princess. Really? That's great. Be careful, okay? Actually, we want you to come with us, too. Huh? But but I can't do anything. Hardly, Master Vivi. Your magic was highly effective against that monster. In all honesty, I hold your power in greater esteem than I do this scoundrel's. But, but I'm scared. I couldn't even move last time. Please, Master Vivi. For the sake of Princess Garnet and all of Alexandria, I humbly request your assistance. Come on, you're a black mage for crying out loud. Show us what you've got. Alright, let's get going. Okay. I'll try my best. Thank you, Master Vivi. Master Vivi. Yeah? It's about your black magic. I wish to try an experiment. I was wondering if... Whisper, whisper... Magic sword? Okay, I'll give it a try. Vivi's equipment here. Get him learning all three elements. And then just as a murder, matter of preference. Always like having Zidane on top of the order. I don't know if that's an OCD thing or not. Jeez, you really dig her, huh? I can't sit around knowing a girl's in trouble. It goes against my nature. Whatever, you're full of crap. Oh, I get it. You're jealous that I'm going to go get me a sweetie pie. Shh, she's not even my type. I came down here to give you this. You're always thinking about me, but I won't need a love potion to reel this one in. Why don't you get your mind off girls for a second? This is the medicine I gave to that black mage in the night. It's sort of like a seed remover. Cool. This will really come in handy. 
Why am I always helping you? Oh yeah, here's a little tip from the boss. Don't forget to set your abilities. Leaving the band is your business, but you better keep training. Learning more abilities is going to make you even stronger. Good luck, Baku. Hey, Blink, how do you set abilities again? Man, how can you forget? It's so basic. Open the menu, select ability, and select equip, and choose the abilities you want to set. Thanks, Blink. I'll see you when I see you. How about never? Or right now, so I can come back and get this treasure chest. Leather hat. You chickened out already? <laughs> so the abilities we've already equipped, already gotten ahead of that. Come back whenever you need rest. You'll always be welcome. Rules are rules, so I gotta charge you since you're no longer in Tantalus. Sorry. What do you need? Uh, I'll buy a couple of antidotes. That'll do for now. Just in case, we'll go ahead and save. Letter for Zidane. Zidane, are you alright? I'm doing good. I met an interesting stranger in Alexandria today. I'll tell you more soon. P.S. Tell the boys in Tantalus I said hi. Ruby sounds like a nice girl. Koopo. Thanks. Ruby. Alright. Into the evil forest we go. With a full party this time. Well, almost full party. Okay. Let's really liven up this place. A little Rufus Welcome March from Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Let our music do the fighting against those monsters. This ought to boost morale. This is great. Brum, brum, brum. Hey, not bad. I'm gonna go take a look around. Stay on your toes. We'll be leaving soon. I love all the, the nods to other Final Fantasies that, that make it into Final Fantasy IX. I wonder where this river goes. Hmm. No sign of any monsters here. A spring. Do as I say, not as I do. Are you sure about this? Yeah, don't worry. We'll be out of here soon, too. Here, take this map. It's going to be a long trip back to Lindblom. Alright, I'll see you later. I'm counting on you. Go and replenish at the spring. We have a letter for Monty. A letter from Kupo? Thanks for the delivery, Kupo. I think Quinn Braun is up to something, but I suspect Princess Garnet even more, Kupo. She might leave home soon, with a prince on a white horse. Maybe it's just my imagination. Hmm, Princess Garnet. Didn't she just... Oh, never mind, Kupo. I just received a letter from Stilskin. Let's read it together, Kupo. I'm in a very cold place right now. It's really strange. It wasn't like this the last time I came here. But I guess this is why I travel. To encounter the unexpected. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here before I get trapped in ice. A cold place. Oh, I know where he is. Kupo. There must be something strange going on. Alright. No more letters. We just saved, so I don't really feel the need to do it again. Continue on. We shall.
There she is. So, this is the master. Princess, you stay out of this. Alexandria would be disgraced if a mere bandit should rescue the princess. You think you can handle him on your own? Let's get him, Vivi. All right. Our first real boss. Things pretty wild looking. Plant brain. So Steiner has very limited magic points, but his uh, magic sword is very, very useful. Especially since uh, we're currently blinded and it does not matter. It's going to hit no matter what. So anytime you have Vivi and Steiner together, it's a good, uh, good tactic for the boss. Stole some eye drops. That's a handy steal right about now. It's pretty hard. Alright, so it's officially out of stuff. Yikes. was it. Actually, no. Whew, I made it just in time. Step aside. I'll take care of this. Get one more fire sword out of Steiner. Then I might shift to use him as a healer. This can be a little stupid sometimes. enough. Vivi carries the day again. Princess, please get a hold of yourself. Sedan, give her the stuff. Hack, hack. Princess, please try to drink all of it. Is she gonna be okay? Oh man, what now? Jeez, we're gonna be surrounded. Let's get out of here. Go! What are you waiting for? Alright. Time to escape the evil forest. My hit points are way too low for this right now. We're gonna try and make it without stopping. Thanks. 
Don't hit Bibby. Go down easy at least. What are you doing? Something's wrong. What? The entire forest is coming after us. Blank, take care of everyone. What did he mean by that? I love Bibby's run. Link sacrificing himself so Zidane and the group can escape. Damn it! That idiot! Blank. I hope she gets well soon. This is all his fault. Have you nothing to say, you filth? Oh. P Princess. Steiner? How did I survive? You brought me here? It is my sworn duty to protect you at any cost. What are you talking about? It was Vivi's magic and my dagger that got you out of there, Princess. I thank you both. That monkey deserves no praise. None of this would have happened if you and your band hadn't abducted the princess. And how dare you claim that you have rescued her. When we get back to Alexandria, I will... Steiner. I left the castle of my own will. What a coincidence, eh? We went to snatch her, and she wanted to be snatched. Impossible. It's true. So what do you say, Rusty? Friends? Come on, let's just enjoy this camping trip while it lasts. Camping, you imbecile. Surely even you must know something about the mist. The vicious monsters it spawns, the abnormalities it stirs in the mind and body. Princess, we must leave this dangerous place at once. You've got to be kidding. She hasn't even fully recovered yet. Silence, who asked for your opinion? All right, tell me, how do you plan to get out of here? We're standing in a valley surrounded by tall cliffs. And last I heard, Northgate and Southgate were sealed off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Grr. The princess can barely walk right now. You went through this. You should know. I think we should rest here for now. I will never follow your... Steiner! State your sworn duty. What else? To protect Princess Garnett till Alexandros. Very well. Until the princess recovers, I will guard this place with my life. Sounds good to me. Vivi, let's get some rest.
How are you feeling? Good, thanks to that medicine you gave me. Could this be... Yeah, I was surprised too. After we beat that big plant guy, the forest got completely petrified. Vivi told me that we were able to escape because of your friend. His name is Blank. We must go help him. We can't do anything for him right now. But I, I can't. We'll come back for him. I'm sure there's a way to cure him. Let's get going. According to the map that Blank gave me, there's a cavern to the south of us. Maybe we can get above the mist through that cavern. Are you alright? Everything's going to be fine. Trust me. Look, there's something coming. Wait, Koopo. I'm impressed, Koopo. First time I've seen anyone escape from Evil Forest. You all must, you all must be strong, Koopo. But don't get cocky, Koopo. Lots of stronger monsters ahead. Before you go out to the world, Mogster will teach you a few things. Teach me Mogster Lesson 1. So this is basically just an active time event that has a whole lot of tutorial stuff in it. Hey bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. You're going to love this lecture. And I'm going to skip it all. Gosh bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. I have a gift for you, Koopo. Take this flute. Receive Moogle's flute. With this flute, you can call us anywhere in the world, Koopo. Press X to play it. Happy trails, Koopo. Thank you. Koopopo. Bye. Koopo. What the? Who goes there? Your friend's already left, Koopo. Princess, wait! Alright, so we've officially made it to the world map. We made it out of our first dungeon. And I'm going to call it here. I'm going to go ahead and call our, uh, our Moogle friend. Maguo. There's a... Uh, I think there's an achievement for calling him over and over again. If you do it so many times, he gets really mad and gets funny. But uh, you do get a trophy for that. We're not going to mess with it. But we'll call it here now that we're out of the evil forest. And next time we will tackle the, uh, the ice cavern. So thanks for joining. And I will see you with the next episode.